All right, it may not look like it, but I believe morning is here because it's raining, it's very dark. In Terraria, it is a brand new Terraria day. And uh, today I am hoping to get out and start uh, properly adventuring. So, hey everybody, sorry. Um, actually lost some of the footage there. I was recording and I thought it was just because it was dark. The screen was showing black. I didn't look over at it. Lost about 10 minutes, uh, which almost would have been an episode. But anyway, here's what I did in the meantime. Um, I finished building this house and my merchant showed up and I went and found my first chest over to the left here and I got a piggy bank and I built an anvil and a furnace. So I did all that stuff in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Most of it in 10 minutes. Some of it was overnight, but most of it was in 10 minutes. Let me just show you over here what I was up to. Uh, yeah, and I bought a bug net so that I can catch some fish because the well-fed buff uh, is very important in expert mode. And yeah, so basically I came over here and there was a chest down here and I grabbed that and I looted it and I dug through here. There was some iron and some stone. So that's what I've been up to. Now that we're all caught up, <laughs> uh, be afraid, be very afraid. Lure the slimes into the hole. Run away. So any of you making YouTube channels, pay close attention to whether your video is actually recording. That's weird. I've almost never had that with this game. It's usually, uh, usually pretty well perfect. It's actually one of the few games I can generally rely on to... Uh, have all the recording go very well. It's a very reliable game. But, I don't know, mixed up for some reason. I'm not going to blame the game for that. It's probably something else. I don't know. Oh, but here we go. My first worm. And yeah, I had some, some uh, goldfish running about. As well, collect this wood. And I was talking about how I could really use a watch, um, among other things. Oh, that actually looks like that might go somewhere. Let's explore. Oh, yeah, there's a chest in there. Wow, I didn't expect that. That's cool. Discoveries. This is why I like adventuring. I think it's getting about nighttime, so I'm going to have to be a little careful, given that I have no good equipment yet. But we found a chest and a little passageway to boot. Oh, nice. Nine iron bars. That is very useful right now. That is very useful right now. Alright, I should be able to get out of here without dropping ropes. Uh, huh. And it, this is what I find so interesting about, you know, the world generation, basically, that uh, you never really know what you're going to find, whether you should follow some little tiny passageway. But here we are, there's a bunch of pots. And again, oops, I killed that worm, I wanted to keep him. But yeah, you, you often don't really know what you're going to find. And is it worth finding a little or following a little passageway into the ground? Is it not? It's it's often very hard to know. Yeah, that kind of looks like it might even continue. So let's explore. Yeah, I mean, on the other hand, I could spend all this time just digging this out for no reason and find out it goes nowhere, so... At least some debris there that looks like what is literally termed by the game debris. Okay, no, I don't think this goes any further. Okay, there is a little bit more of a little hole here. Oh, but yeah, I think that's all there is to it. Okay. Well, now I have like seven recall potions. So worst case, I can just use one of those and run home if I get myself in trouble. So let's go adventuring a little. It is, I think, nighttime again. And I'm going to need to find my way around here. 
but I've got some basic supplies. Ropes and whatnot. I can hear that's probably a zombie splashing around. I don't think I have any falling stars. Fall in stars yet. Oh. Okay, I don't really have good stuff to take on the demon eyes and stuff. Although, yeah, I can't even see. I don't have shine potions or anything. But yeah, I do actually have... Uh, uh, <laughs> I do have, like, throwing knives and stuff. So if you ever wondered what those were for, <laughs> it's for when you find yourself in this situation very early in the game. And he's going to steal my money. It's my money. You're not taking my money. I mean, you are, but I'm taking it back. <laughs> All right. Maybe we can... I don't even have a lot of torches. I don't have the stuff for shine potions yet. Not really in a position to take on these zombies without wasting all my throwing knives. Some would say I should just go back home now. Some would say that. Fall, fall, come on, fall. You don't want to fall. All right, well, you keep going that way and... Oops, that's not what I was going for. <laughs> you were not supposed to turn around. Is it day yet? Guys? Daytime? Anybody? <laughs> yeah, see, this is the problem. If I go that way, I'm just going to spawn more zombies. I don't really want to waste recall potions. But I also don't really just want to be stuck here. Alright, I'm relying on you not to turn around. Oh, and as soon as I say it. I don't know what's worse, wasting recall potions or wasting throwing knives. And another thing about Expert, actually, that enemies will spawn near your house. Even if you've got your house all set up and lots of stuff, enemies will still spawn here. So there's no avoiding that. That's a good amount of iron. I might be able to make something a little better there. Um, wooden boomerang isn't particularly useful, but... Well, let's just store these for now. Yeah, on the one hand, I could use some of this stuff, but on the other hand, I don't want to waste precious iron bars when I don't really need it yet. It's a tough call. Tough call, and I can... I'm going to rename my chest. I'm going to call this one ores and bars, let's say, because I usually call one that, and that's where I stash my ores and bars. <laughs> Gradually, as I expand... I'll have additional chests for other stuff. Let's uh, call this one maybe ingredients. When I get some herbs and stuff, we'll put those in there. Actually, these can go in there now. So we'll get organized from the beginning. I could put my mushrooms in there, but I don't need to because I am only a soft core character, I hate to admit. <laughs> Not even playing medium core yet. Because really, I expect to die sometimes, and I'm just, I'm willing to accept that I'm probably going to die. You know what I can do, though, actually, while I'm stuck here waiting for morning, is put in my background walls. Which, again, I don't really particularly need for my personal house. this were sufficient, I should also just start building the next house. I always like to have at least one house spare. Oh, it looks like it's daytime now. The zombies are running away. Or are they? Uh, maybe not. You tricky zombies. There's 
Zombies are trying to fool me. Not gonna be fooled that easy, zombies. And so, in case you can't tell by this NPC village and all the stuff I've got going on here at this point, this is not um, the end of the series, of course. This is just the end of the episode. There's lots more coming. Uh, I recorded a big batch of stuff to begin with, and there will be more coming after that as well. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time in the next episode. Bye for now.